I'm going to share with you all the problems I had. If you remember, I made a video that I had gotten two cute little chicks um, that were Easter Eggers because I wanted green eggs. And, you know, I first had them in this brooder box. And I made this brooder box and it's worked well for many years. But of course they outgrew that and then I got this very heavy shipping container which at first I had in our bedroom and that worked better than a solution I had before when I had chicks but it was too cold to put them outside. Well then they grew enough that and it got warm enough that I had the shipping container. My husband and son and friends moved it into the garage and they spent quite a while in there. And then I thought, it's time, I'm gonna release them with the other hens. Well, that ended up to be disaster, as you will see here. Well, I'm gonna try it again. Remember those two Easter eggers I bought? Well, at two months of age, I tried putting them in with my four other hens, and at first, it all seemed great. And I come back a couple times, eh, everything seems okay. And then I come back and find one of the little ones huddled in the corner, the other one almost kind of protecting it, which by the way is why I'm afraid it actually is not a hen. But its little butt was just packed raw. So I took them both out, I used my chicken first aid kit, which I have a link here, and got the butt okay. <laughs> and then we put them out in the garage and it's been another four weeks so now they should be about three months and I'm going to try it again because really the garage is really just too dark for them and it's getting to smell and I'd like to put my car in the garage. So let's see how this goes. Okay, they're spending their time in the corner there because they're scared stiff. And see how that one kind of protects her? I'm afraid that could be a cock. And I don't have two layers. Because I'm in here right now, the ladies are behaving. They still look pretty large next to my Easter Eggers. It was an epic fail. When I checked back the next morning, both the hens were huddled in the corner and their butts were bleeding. Uh, their tail feathers had been removed and it was just a red mess. So I got both of them out. I treated their wound with some hydrogen peroxide, then added some of the spray, and then put on some of this so the bleeding would stop. And then I just decided I could not put them back in the pen. So then I came up with this solution. So then I had a children's play yard and I decided to make a temporary habitat for the two Easter egg or chicks in the regular coop. So I put this together and then I put heavy screening and used wire and put it on top with an opening so of course I could feed and water them when I needed to. But for the idea that they get acquainted with the smells, everything else with the other four chickens. Now, they are four and a half months old. They're just about full size. So today I'm going to try releasing them again. And hopefully it will not be a bloody massacre. You know, the sun is shining just right that you're not going to see a lot of detail here. But the two birds sitting there on the perch are my Easter eggers. So they have not joined the other girls yet. Got a nice clean coop to enjoy. And she kind of rules the roost. Yeah. So we'll check back a couple hours later and see how they're doing. Okay, so here's little puffy cheeks. Can you see the little puff there? That's what I call her. The other one, the other Easter egg we got at the same time, I call Hawk, because to me it looks kind of mean and predator. But she's uh, adorable. And she's the one, again, they all picked on. I mean, her butt got so bloody, and even the other Easter egg was picking on it. 
I think because once they see red, they're attracted to it, something red and shiny. So I got her out, I took care of her again with the chicken first aid kit, and I thought, I'm gonna give it one more day. So I put her up on a little perch, and I waited. And now it's been a week, and let me show you. So we, here we are exactly a week after. As you can see, I've given the chickens a treat. They've gotten some pizza. And the two Easter Eggers are getting off their perch, exploring some of the area. Do the other chickens still bug them? Oh, sure. But there's been no more bloody butts. And I think eventually they're going to meld with the group. You know, Puffy Cheeks, which is actually bigger than the hawk one, she's the one that seems to be the most timid. But look at this. Here she is. Maybe she's going to go for a piece of pizza. Ah, nope. Decided not to. She's just having some of the regular food. So, I think this is it. I think they're finally going to be integrated into the flock. Right now they're still second class citizens, but I'm hoping it will get better. But at least they aren't being injured. They're eating and drinking. So I think everything will be fine. So I think I can finally say success. I've never had problems like this before, but I've always put full size chickens in there. So I don't know what the difference is, but sure was tough getting them to be one flock. This is Prepper Potpourri saying, please subscribe, share the knowledge, thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you for your support. Say hi, Prepper. Hmm? Hmm?